Hello everyone, welcome back to another session by K21 Academy and today our expert trainer will be discussing about AWS VPN. So watch the video till the end. Now next is VPN. Virtual private network. What is a VPN? VPN basically helps you to connect to your VPC from your data center through your IPsec tunnel. This is a traditional approach to connect to two sites. It's not a approach of cloud. It is a traditional approach which is being used from ages for connecting two sites securely. And same has been extended to cloud. OK. It two VPN tunnels per VPC to improve the fault tolerance is required to be created by terminating them in different availability zones. So usually what we do is from the. Customer location remote location. We create two VPN tunnels one landing up in a different availability zone and another landing up in a different availability zone so that if this availability zone fails, then I can still be connected to my network via this availability zone. Here you are required to create customer gateway and virtual gateway cloud gateway. So two gateways are required to be created and you are charged based on customer gateway and virtual private gateway at per hour charges. And then the amount of data which is transferring onto them. You can create static or dynamic routing onto these IPsec tunnels where the dynamic routing the protocol which is supported is BGP. There are multiple dynamic routing protocols. Some are for internal routing that is your EIGRP OSPF for internal communication, but th these are the dynamic routing protocols, but they are not supported. The supported dynamic routing protocol is border gateway protocol. That is the supported routing protocol on the customer gateway. Otherwise you can use static routing where you will say if this is the source and this is the destination go via this gateway static route. This is the source. This is the destination then use this gateway to go out. That is known as static routing. If the routes are being learned automatically and they are feeded from some dynamic methods, then it is known as dynamic routing and in that BGP is supported on these VPN which we are talking about. So these are actually site to site VPN which I'm talking about. So this diagram actually explains you. If a VPC trying to connect to another VPC, so it is a peering connection which will help. If you are having a machine over here trying to access AWS services like S3 DynamoDB SNS, then you need an internet gateway to communicate with them. If you want to communicate with these services without internet gateway, then what will you require? You require gateway endpoint. If you have a corporate on premise data center trying to communicate with your VPC, then it will be a VPN. That is site to site VPN, which is required to be created. If it is one end user with his laptop trying to get connected to your VPC, then it is client VPN endpoint, which is required to be created in Amazon. So these are the various services which are available. I have explained you these things in the beginning itself, how the various connectivities are achieved. Now, like suppose say you have got a on premise site where multiple users and machines are there trying to communicate with your cloud site again where multiple users and servers are there then I will be needing a site to site VPN connection. But if it is one or two clients trying to communicate with your VPC that is your site then it will be a client VPN endpoint which is required to be created in the cloud. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you missed upon any concept or if you want to dive deeper into the concepts, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on 
Amazon AWS Solution Architect Certification for Beginners. Under this free class, you'll be learning about why and who should learn AWS, cloud services, deployment models, and AWS services as well. And the most important part is you'll be getting hands-on labs, job opportunities, along with Docker and Kubernetes in AWS and amazing, amazing stuff. So if you want to register for this free class, all you have to do is just log on to your browser and type k21academy.com forward slash AWS SA02. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to click on book your free seat now, select your event date, add your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. And after that, you'll be seeing this kind of page. You just have to save this link on the extreme right, add it to your calendars, and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, keep learning.